Mazagin Dock Shipbuilders has touched a key milestone in the Project 17A, as the shipyard has laid the keel of the third advanced stealth frigates that are being built for the Indian Navy. The Modi government had authorized the construction of seven advanced stealth frigates under the Project 17A in February 2015 at $6.3 billion, in which Mazagin Dock Shipbuilders was in charge of building four advanced stealth frigates while Guard and Reach Shipbuilders has to construct three frigates. The P-17A frigates will use a 127mm naval gun, and will be equipped with BrahMos anti-ship systems, Indo-Israeli Barak-8 long-range systems, triple-tube heavy torpedo launchers, RBU-6000 anti-submarine rockets, AK-630 close-in combat system, a highly capable EW suite developed by Bharat Electronics Limited the MF Star radar system with long-distance target detection and tracking ability for air and surface targets. Officials have said that the lead ship of this class will be inducted in 2023, and the next two ships in 2024 and 2025 respectively. As per media reports, the Indian Army is set to finally place an order for 118 indigenous Arjun Mark 1A tanks, that will come with 14 major improvements than its predecessor. The Mark 1A prototype has cleared all tests, and the cost negotiations with the Chennai-based Combat Vehicles Research and Development Establishment is also complete, and reports indicate that the Army has pushed the file to place the order. Officials have said, that the first tank will be rolled out from the factory within 30 months of placing the order. The Indian Ministry of Defence has issued new guidelines to maximise the involvement of local defence industrial base in defence production programmes, and preference will be given to goods and services that have more than 50% local content. Under this new guideline, local suppliers that produce goods that have more than 50% local content will be put in class 1 category, and the suppliers that produce goods with 20-50% to local content will be under class 2 category. The new policy that raised the foreign direct investment through automatic approval in the defence sector from 49% to 74% now has a national security clause as a condition, and the new policy has now been approved by the Union Cabinet. Under the national security clause, the foreign investment in the defence sector shall be subject to scrutiny on ground of national security, and the government reserves the right to review any foreign investment in the defence sector that may affect national security. In a major development, India, France and Australia has started a new strategic alliance that was proposed by French President Emmanuel Macron in 2018. The Indian Foreign Secretary, the French Secretary General for Europe and the Secretary in Australian Department of Foreign Affairs held a video conference yesterday, in which new ways to enhance maritime security cooperation and mutual logistics support and capacity building of other friendly countries in the Indo-Pacific region was discussed, as this new India-France-Australia axis is critical for the joint objectives in the Indian-Pacific region. During yesterday's talks between the Indian External Affairs Minister and his Chinese counterpart in Moscow, both the foreign ministers have agreed that the current situation along the LAC is not in the interest of both the countries, and India and China have agreed on a five-point plan to resolve the prolonged border standoff, that includes abiding by all existing agreements and protocols on the management of the frontier, maintaining peace and tranquility at the border, and avoiding any action that could escalate the situation.